introduction to a safari, I would recommend probably East Africa. This is home of the Great Migration. A lot of people have probably seen it on TV shows and want to go and see it for themselves. It's a magical experience. The wildebeest and zebra in their tens of thousands move and graze through the Serengeti following the rains up through the Masai Mara. And when you're in a vehicle and traveling the whole day, you just can't comprehend the sheer scale of this. The added bonus is there's a lot of predator activity, so it's a great wildlife interaction experience and ideal for the first time traveler. The first is trekking for gorillas, mountain gorillas. Um, you can do this in Rwanda or Uganda. For me, it was one of the most magical experiences that I've done. The trekking is quite hard, you start at altitude, but the ultimate reward is when you see your first silverback or baby gorillas and you have a magical hour with them as they're all playing around, eating. And because they're so rare, there's only 850 left in the world, um, you just feel very, very privileged to have that experience amongst them. The second is an activity I did in Botswana where you actually go walking with semi-habituated elephants. When you interact with the elephants, you get to touch them, see how they eat, very, very close interaction. And when you see Jabu, who's the male elephant, who's massive, come up behind you and put his trunk on you, you just, again, feel privileged to have that wonderful experience so close to, to wild animals. The best time to go on safari in Africa is uh, between July and September, October time. It's dry, the animals are active. Um, it's also a fantastic time to witness the wildebeest migration in Kenya and Tanzania, so all things considered, it's a fantastic time to visit. In Africa, there's a huge variety of places to stay. Tented camps, luxury mobile private camps that are set up in the wilderness for you. One of my personal favorites is Sanctuary Baines Camp, which is in the Okavanga Delta of Botswana. It's just got five rooms around a waterhole with trees around. One of the special activities they do there is star beds, where in the evening they will drag your bed out onto the deck and you can go to sleep under a thousand stars and as an elephant gently grazes by, it's a very magical African experience. Travelling with Abercrombie and Kent to Zambia, I always recommend staying at Sanctuary Puka Ridge Camp where you get fantastic wildlife as well as the chance to get out of the vehicle and walk. Um, and then at the end of the day, there's always a little surprise waiting for you, normally in the form of a, a cold gin and tonic uh, waiting for you as the sun sets. We've been established for over 50 years in the destination. It's our homeland. We started in Kenya, and a lot of our staff and people that work for us have been with us for sort of 20 odd years. Another reason is that in each of the countries we operate, we have our own philanthropy projects. We've built clinics, schools, provided education to local people in those communities and that's something that our clients can also experience when they travel with us.